Devils, demons and other frightening entities have been plaguing our games and our protagonists since the dawn of gaming. Now a lot of bosses we come up against in video games are just your run of the mill villains, but not these dudes. Oh no, today on Top 5 Scary Videos we're going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary demons from video games. Before we jump in though, we have a very exciting announcement. We just launched a brand new channel called Tier List Official, where we rank everything and anything from YouTubers to horror films to fast food. You also may just see some familiar faces over there, me being one of them. Not only that, but if you're amongst the first 10,000 subscribers, you have a chance to win $250. So go check it out. With that, let's jump in. In at 5, The Devil from Cuphead. Released back in 2017, Cuphead is a classic run and gun action game heavily focused on boss battles. What makes this game unique is that it's inspired by cartoons of the 1930s, i.e. traditional hand-drawn cell animation, watercolour backgrounds and original jazz recordings. Anyway, the main antagonist of Cuphead is the devil himself. Yep, that's right. The devil is the primary reason Cuphead must embark on a dangerous journey in order to keep his soul, which results in Cuphead having to confront the devil in an epic boss battle. Throughout the game, the devil watches Cuphead while he's on his journey, and during your battle against this hellish creature, he will take on multiple forms during his attacks. You have been warned. Trust no one. In at 4, Mundus. Mundus is the main antagonist and final boss in Devil May Cry, a hack and slash video game published by Capcom and released back in 2001 for the PlayStation 2. The game centers on Dante, a demon hunter who uses his business to seek revenge on demons after losing his brother and mother. Back to Mundus though, he is known as the Prince of Darkness and is a devil prince who ruled the demon world 2000 years ago, overthrowing the previous ruler of the demon world and threatening the human world. During his battle with Dante, his appearance takes on the form of a gigantic living statue of an aging, muscular, bearded man with enormous feathers wings, resembling figures such as Zeus. Additionally, Mundus often appears as three glowing orbs, arcing with energy. He is depicted as the epitome of evil within the Devil May Cry universe. He has no compassion and will act without regard. Essentially, this dude is straight up evil, and your battle against him will be challenging to say the least. Coming in at 3, Cyber Demon. Released back in 1993, the Doom franchise is a series of first person shooting games, focusing on the exploits of an unnamed space marine operating under the auspices of the Union Aerospace Corporations, who fights hordes of demons as well as the undead. Now, Cyber Demon was released in the very first Doom game, and also appeared in several other games, including the Doom sequels, Doom RPG, and Wolfenstein RPG. Cyber Demon is described as being a half unfeeling machine, a half raging horned devil. This walking nightmare has a rocket launcher for an arm and will definitely reach out and touch you. Chills. Now, in the very first Doom, Cyber Demon is the toughest boss you will come across, with 4,000 hit points, which is the equivalent of 40 direct rocket hits. That's a lot. Cyber Demon also returns in Doom 2 Hell on Earth, where he is depicted on the cover art and the title screen. Next up at number 2, Pyramid Head. First introduced back in 2001 in Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head, also known as the Red Pyramid Thing, is a fictional character from the series and also the main antagonist, who stalks James Sunderland, the primary character, who comes to Silent Hill after receiving a letter from his dead wife. Pyramid Head ultimately represents James's wish to be punished for the death of his wife. With the game, particularly the second, utilizing psychology and symbolism. The designer of Silent Hill 2's monsters stated he created Pyramid Head because he wanted a monster with a hidden face. What makes him even more terrifying is that his head is concealed by a large triangular helmet, almost like a cone. He lacks a voice and his appearance seems to represent the town's past as a place of execution. So, do you want to go up against this faceless demon? I certainly don't. And that says a lot. Finally, coming in at number 1, Calamity Ganon. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was released back in 2017, and is the 19th installment in the Legend of Zelda series. The game takes place after the events of Ocarina of Time, and occurs in the most recent age, long after any of the previous episodes. Calamity Ganon is the main antagonist and penultimate boss of Breath of the Wild, and is found at the Hyrule Castle. According to the Zelda wiki, he is the incomplete form that Ganon assumed when he was interrupted while trying to reincarnate himself. Nightmare. He first emerged in the distant past, but was ultimately defeated by an army of mechanical guardians and four massive mechanical constructs called the Divine Beasts. Now, his appearance is initially that of a boar shaped spectre made of malice and possessing an enormous mouth, tusks, and glowing yellow eyes. However, in the penultimate battle against Link, Calamity Ganon appears mindless, and it's heavily implied to be the result of his attempted resurrection. In his dark beast Ganon form, Calamity Ganon is bestial and driven entirely by hatred and malice. Essentially, this dude is just straight up evil, and you do not want to come across him in a dark, damp cave. 
it's a battle you will lose. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any scary demons from video games that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.